that's what the issue is. Why you're not streaming on YouTube? Uh, the reason why I don't stream on YouTube is I don't know. I mean, if they keep doing stuff like this, who knows what's going to happen? Now, I, I, I'm not writing anything off. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm not writing anything off. So anyway, guys, um, today the first topic that I want to talk about is going to be uh, it, it's going to be the ads on Twitch. I saw this on LSF, and I want to talk about this because it's something that I, I, I feel strongly about. Now the ads on Twitch. Now how do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about the ads on Twitch? Do you like the fact that whenever you go to a new stream you get three ads? No one likes that. Damn, that's crazy. Wow, what a surprise. So basically that that's where we're at. It's invasive. It, it, it's not invasive, it's cannibalistic because it literally takes the content away from you. Uh, it, invasive is like, okay, we're just gonna put, you know, it's like th this is an invasive, right? This is invasive. Like, okay, yeah, this, uh, that, that's like, okay, I can see that as being invasive. This is not, this is cannibalistic. This takes the content away from you. It, it's nuts, man. 30 second pre rolls are actually absolutely insane. I remember back in the day, uh, this is, this is gonna sound, like this could sound bad like I, I don't know i think everybody does this is that i would go to a stream and the moment that i i got hit with an ad i'd say fuck it i'd say fuck it man because i don't want to i don't want to see that shit like i do you think i want to hear about cactus jack again no that sounds like a horror movie and i, I don't want to watch it and that's what drives me fucking crazy is that like nowadays i'm gonna be honest I don't even really watch a whole lot of Twitch streams. If I get an ad, I just stop watching it. That, that's really, I don't want to listen to this one. Uh, I just don't want to, I don't want to deal with it, man. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to have anything to do with it, man. I, I want to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to show this to you guys. I'm going to go over some of this stuff and, and we're going to get into it. The increased rate of advertisement is becoming severe and ruining viewer experience. Do you guys feel, let me ask you a question. Because obviously, uh, you know, this is his opinion that it's ruining viewer experience. Do you feel like the increased amount of ads over the past year has caused, has led you to using Twitch less or uh, not enjoying the website as much? Like one or the other? Yes. Okay. I, I kind of feel the same way. Like, I don't think it really is a, uh, it's not that big of a, a jump to assume that playing ads in the middle of a live stream is going to make people enjoy it less. I think that's, like, you don't even really need to have a poll for that. You just use your brain. Okay? So that's number one. So let's go ahead and we'll read this and I'll, I'll look at the rest of it, okay? While I'm fully aware of the semi-recent changes Twitch has implemented with their ads, this is getting ridiculous. I've noticed over the past one to two weeks, the frequency of ads has significantly increased in the middle of streams, including ad breaks that the streamer does not actively start themselves. Now, because I don't really get ads a whole lot, I don't see these kinds of things. Is this true? Is this true? Yeah, is this true? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, that is really, really bad. That That is that is really bad. And uh, that's why I, miss, I was watching Mizkif's stream. It was so bad. The thing is, like, at least if you're, if Mizkif is running ads while he's asleep, I mean, listen, man. Like, if you're watching, this is, this, the website, this website's so fucking crazy nowadays. Look at this shit. I can go over here. Let me go to browse. Let me go over here. There's literally something called sleepers. It's literally called sleepers. And guess what it is? It's people sleeping. And you know what the sad part is about it? Is it's almost higher than WoW. Anyway, let's go back over. We're going to look at the rest of this, uh, uh, the rest of this stuff. Where is it? The advertisements. There it is. Yeah, it, it's, this is, in, it's, it's insane. Okay, if you're watching somebody sleep and you get an ad, that's your fucking fault. Okay, because you're watching somebody fucking sleep. It's weird. Anyway, let me go to the rest of it. Not only that, but the number and length of these ads are getting ridiculous. Averaging 30 to 60 seconds at a time, seconds at a time, sometimes occurring at critical moments in streams, linked to an example of this happening a while ago on Soda's stream provided. 
Every time I've entered a new stream, there's a 75% chance that I get a 30 second pre-roll. This heavily disincentivizes finding new streamers to check out and is also directly counteractive to site-wide growth. Ad blockers are becoming less effective and many of the blocking methods that worked only a few months ago are no longer successful. Like, as I said, there are times I will see one frame of the streamer and I'll see what they're doing and I'll be like, and I'll get an ad. I'll be like, wait a minute. So based off of that one frame, is it worth me sitting through another Cactus Jack ad to watch the rest of it? And 90% of the time, the answer is no. It is. It's The answer is no. Like, it's just not. So anyway, let's go back and we'll look at the rest of it. And, and you guys make that same decision, right? Because I'm being brutally fucking honest about this because a lot of other people are trying to talk around it. But you guys make that same decision, right? You guys probably make that decision with me sometimes. You're like, ah, oh, fuck, he's watching another Bellier video? Okay, I'll come back later. Oh, he's doing another sword run? Oh, he's not gonna get it. Ah, oh, whatever. You know, and it's, so it's not good for me either. It, it's not good for anybody. Okay, like, I'm not... What do you think? I'm I'm the only person who's not, not gonna have this happen to them? No, it happens to everybody. That's just the truth. Why don't you streamers unionize? Because the reason why streamers never unionize, as I said... I said this yesterday at probably about the exact same time in my stream. I said gamers are literally the weakest protesters and the weakest boycotters in, in like, there's nothing weaker than a gamer protester or a gamer boycott. They are one three minute cinematic away from it being over. Okay? That's it. They don't, gamers are, and this streamers are, here's the truth. and. You might not want to hear this, but it's true. Now, obviously, it's better to have multiple streamers on the platform because it creates an ecosystem. You can't have an ecosystem with just one very large tree. But a lot of streamers would be happy. Like, it would be financially beneficial for some streamers, for other streamers to get banned. So, for example, if you're playing Call of Duty, and, like, you see this all the time with, like, other people that go live. And, like, one person is live, and then somebody else goes live, and then the first person loses viewers to the second person. So, it would be financially beneficial for that first person if the second person couldn't go live, right? And that's why streaming has, like, this weird fucking frenemy thing going on with it. That a lot of streamers look at each other as, like, friends, but also competition. It's fucking weird. So... I don't think the unions are going to happen because it would require people to cooperate when sometimes that would not serve their best interest um, in, in their mind, even though I think that it probably would in the long run because it, you can't, as I said, you can't have a, an ecosystem of, plat of content with only like two or three people on the platform. That's the point that I'm making, right? I, I completely agree that ads are bad. I do not like ads at all for any reason. I think that any ads that are uh, non-voluntary on the stream suck. And I, if anybody uses ad blocker, I never hold it against them. That's always been my stance on it. And I will always probably have that stance. I know that ads, and I want to make sure this one thing is clear because some people might not realize this. I know that ads are necessary for the website. I know that they have to run ads sometimes on the website. I'm not saying that Twitch should never be able to run ads. Twitch is not a charity. They're not just like spending money to host these different streams to so many viewers with so many different quality options. This costs money. Like this costs Twitch money. So because it costs them money, they have to make that money back to in order to pay the money that it costs. That's just the way that the world works. So I understand that Twitch needs to do ads. I get that. But there are more and less ethical ways of handling ads. And that's really the conversation here. And also, I want to talk about this purple screen. Now, you guys, how many of you guys have gotten a purple screen? Ten times. So the reason why I think the purple screen is bad is because it fundamentally is punitive. It does not add it does not make Twitch any money. It does not add anything to the viewing experience. It purely makes it worse by punishing users. And let me give you a little bit of a tip. Whenever you start punishing users, that is just that that is the beginning of the end. Punishing users by not letting them see content, that is the beginning of the end. 
Uh, you see this like w with tons of other like streamers that do things like this. I it's very bad. There's a lot of issues right here with the way that Twitch runs the ads on the platform and also the way that Twitch forces people into watching the ads. And if they don't watch the ads, then they get punished for it by losing out on content. And taking that content away from the user does not make Twitch any money. Because in my opinion, how many people that get that purple screen think to themselves, oh wow, I'm getting a purple screen, I guess I should turn off my ad blocker. Like, it, it doesn't even lead to the behavior that you would expect. Like, it doesn't make sense. Because why would you turn off, and this is another issue with the website, is that whenever you have an ad on the platform, how many of you guys have had a stream crash or stop playing after an ad gets played? Yeah. How, how many of you guys? So, so here's the best part about it is that not only do the ads take away from the content on the fundamental level, but on a technical level, they cause it to be dysfunctional. Like, not, I'd say like, it depends on how long I've had my browser open. It seems like the longer I have my browser open, the more dysfunctional and like buggy it gets. And I think it's probably something to do with the cache. I, I have no fucking idea. But the point is that the longer that I have the browser open, the more scuffed the, uh, the, the website is. And basically what ends up happening in the ad is in 4K. Yeah, the ad's in 4K. And so you have a streamer. It's, it's, it's not what logic is about making money. Yes, but have you ever considered the idea of making money through logic? <laughs> I do a lot of, I, I do, I, I do things to make money on my stream and I consider them relatively ethical. Uh, I consider them uh, fair. I consider them non-intrusive and I consider them generally not cannibalistic towards the viewing experience. There are a lot of ways that you can make money on a website. You can make money as a streamer without necessarily hurting your viewers and making the experience worse. That is the difference. What about streamer paying a monthly premium to disable ads? Um, streamer paying monthly premium to disable ads. I, I don't know if that would be possible. And I think honestly, so let me say this. I would take, I, I would take a, a cut in my sub revenue to disable ads. I, I, a hundred percent would. I'm not even kidding. Like I would take like a 20, 20% 20 cut in my sub revenue to, to disable ads because I don't think they're good for the viewers. And the thing is that here's why that's not, here's why that's not stupid. Because I bet I lose 10% of my viewers by just not, by the, the, they just leave because they get a fucking ad. They're like, fuck this, I don't wanna watch. So if I just did that, and then I did like one sponsored stream a week, or not a week, sorry, a month, or something like that, I would make way more fucking money. It would be completely within the viewer's discretion whether they want to watch it or not. And there would be nobody who's getting their content, who's losing content. It would be a thousand times better for everybody. So anyway, but many streamers act state that actively watching a stream is enough support. Surely they should get, should, they should get the final decision. Not to mention some people prefer donating rather than subscribing. This obviously doesn't remove ads for them either. Do you want to hear a fucking tinfoil hat opinion of mine? I think Twitch is going to make it to where you can't donate with PayPal soon. That's right. I think Twitch is going to make it to where you can't donate with PayPal soon. The reason why I think that's going to happen is because... Why? Because they don't get a cut of it. It's because they don't get a cut of it. That's why. I think that's going to happen. I think Twitch is going to try to monopolize donations on uh, on the platform. I think this will happen in less than five years. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely think this will happen. And here's another thing, though. Like, imagine if on YouTube, imagine if on YouTube, every single time that you wanted to watch a video or every single time that you wanted to do something, you had to have YouTube premium. And if you didn't have YouTube premium, they would play ads in the middle of the video. And those ads would just ran, the ads would be in random places in the video and the ads would take time away from the content. You see what I'm saying? They already do that. No, they don't do that. No, they don't. Here's the difference. If a YouTube, if YouTube plays an ad 
I think you guys are, are, are misunderstanding this. Like, I'm on YouTube every day. Chat, listen to what I'm saying. If you are watching a video that is eight minutes long and there is a, an ad six minutes into the video and at 601 it plays the ad, at the end of the ad, the video continues to play at 601. Is that right? Yes, it pauses the video. Um, that does not happen on Twitch. It is a live experience. It does not pause it because you cannot pause it. It's a live experience. That's what you meant. Yes, exactly. And that's what the issue is. Why are you not streaming on YouTube? Uh, the reason why I don't stream on YouTube is I, I, I like there's a lot of things I like about Twitch, right? And the fact is like, yeah, I make more money on Twitch. I don't think I'd make as much money on YouTube. But there, I don't know. I mean, if they keep doing stuff like this, who knows what's going to happen? Now, I, I, I'm not writing anything off, okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm not writing anything off. Stream on both? You literally can't because the contract for Twitch partners locks you into exclusivity. You literally cannot stream on both. Uh, it's unfortunate, but there it is. YouTube viewer experience is way worse than Twitch. Uh, I don't know. It depends on why. I think the YouTube... So the YouTube stream, ex the YouTube video experience is better than on Twitch, and the YouTube chat experience is a lot worse than on Twitch. And that's where the discrepancy happens. What if they ban you like Doc? Well, then it looks like we're going over to YouTube, boys. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> yeah, if I get banned, <laughs> you know, say hello to YouTube streams. Definitely that's going to happen.